Hey there, I'm Hugo Ferreira from Tech Corner TV and welcome to a new mailbag day. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified every time we have new content. Lots of stuff to unpack, so let's jump into it. Let's just put this stuff away so we have some space and we will start with this one. So, no info here. Let's see what we have. Oh, I believe this is a, a tool. Yeah, this is a tool for our workbench that I ordered a few time ago. It's a clim clipping tool. Yeah, this is new, but it's it has it has some kind of issue with a lot of different uh, crimping tool, crimping ends. We have eight, I believe, crimping ends dif different. As you might see, we have just to change this part and put a new one. I believe this has some kind of problem because it's not, it seems not to be working quite well. Hmm. I will have to see this later. But it seems a good quality after all. Let's put here and see what others. Clipping ends we have here. Okay. I will put a, a link in below with the The address, so you can take a look in the, the the specifics, the spec of this plier creeping tool. Okay, now there's nothing special here. We have a lot of and exchangeable creeping ends. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you want and the one that comes with the flyer. Eight nine ex exchange exchange ends. Okay, that's a fine tool. I will take take a look better later. Let's put it here and see what is the next item on our list ah well this is kind of small i thought that this will be bigger this is a a backpack for the photography equipment so we can take the camera. We have several divisions that we can put here. Yeah. We can organize to the lenses and the camera. Uh, or you can put it, maybe it's better this way. 
I don't know. I have to see. But we can divide the backpack. So we can put the lenses like this, for example. And we have a cushioned place to put the lenses and the camera for traveling. Yeah, I believe I will, I will do a better review after. Right now, it is just for opening and see. But uh, as always, we have to be careful with the measures. I believe when I saw it, it will be a, a, a bigger backpack. Even so, it's like a, a kid backpack. We have also here a side pocket. Yeah, another one and a place to put maybe a, a tripod or something like this. We, we have a handle. Well, the quality is good. It has nice cushions. Yeah, I believe it will be a good backpack. It's not so much material. It will handle. Yeah. Okay, another one. Or here. So, the next item. Some of this stuff was open in the customs. What do we have? Ah, another plier. It's for crimping the round uh, terminals. I don't see if you can see the roll. And we press it again. This seems a little bigger on the image. I have to be careful with this. And okay, it's another plier. Yeah, it's also a very good quality. It fits good on the hand. Yeah. Another tool to the workbench. Okay, so the next one. Ah, well, this one will have a its own review later. This is Smart Sensor Digital Lux Meter. Uh, I don't know what kind of batteries it runs on, but let's see if we can. It has a, a nice bag for storage. Let's see what we have here. This is the specifications. Uh, I was trying to see what kind of battery it uses. Mm. Uh, okay, this is one volt, one and a half volt AAA battery. So let me get the key. Let's try to to open it and see if we can have it running. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 
Okay. Let's one, two, three batteries. I believe that's enough. Okay, let's see if we can turn it on. Yeah. Right now it's measuring in Lux the light that comes from one of our projectors, light projectors. Uh, more or less at one meter. Uh, I believe it's like three feet. Uh, it's measuring uh, one thousand and three hundred, more or less. Yeah, it seems okay. It has a nice graphical indicator here. See auto. It has an old button, for example, we can do like this, old, yeah, like a, a half a meter away, two and a half meter, more or less. It has 3,531 looks. We have the hold. Let's see again. We can change the unit, yeah. FC and Lux. Rehek, run. Uh, we'll do a later. Ah, this can turn to the sides. And later we will do a complete review on this device. But it will be used today on a review that we have to do also on a Filtrox RGB projector uh, that was sent to us by our friends at Filtrox. And we will measure the light of the projector with this. Yeah, very nice, very useful. It was good to be in the mailbag. It will be used already today. Okay. Let's turn it off, yeah. Nice addition. Okay. Let's put it here. We have stuff to do, things to, to see. Okay, now this little one. Uh, okay, this is a simple one. It's uh, a filament cleaner for the 3D printer. Yeah. The filament passes between this sponge to take uh, the dust away and all the impurities and it goes to the to the printer. We can print stuff like this but I prefer to to buy this one, this this was nothing. It's a few cents, even with with shipping, and it's a it's well more well built. Okay, this will be for the three D printer. Uh, this one detector. What the hell is the detector? Ah, okay. Uh, 
this is a USB power indicator. Let's open it. Okay. What do I have here right now that can use this? Hmm. Let me get the USB extensions. So we can see, let me okay. So let me see what we can put here to Let's try to charge the phone and see what values we get. Okay, the phone is charging. And let me just focus. And can we can see that is charging at four four volts and 73 70 0 0.362 amps yeah it gives a lot of, of information just bought this so i can do some debugging in some of the devices i have yeah it's a, a simple device all the links will be on the description of the video. Let me take this away. Okay. It comes with a, a small instruction. Chinese, almost. Just a few lines in English. I will take a look in this later. Okay, we have a big package here. Uh, let's see what's in it. But it has to be something with lightning. Lightning with this size. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is for our studio equi equipment. It's an extensor for the, the lightning, so we can have the lights above instead of on the side, so you can have better lighting and avoid some, some shadows in the videos. It's to improve. Hope you like it. We are making an effort to give you some quality videos. Okay. We have here the screw hole. And we can put this like this. Let me open it a bit. And it will fit on our tripods, lightning tripods, and we will extend the light with this. I believe I will be also able to use this for footage from above. Mm, I have to test first. It brings a small Handbag, so we can hang it 
in the end with weights so it, it it compenses the the weight of the of the extensor with some something sand or something else but sand can, can be quite messy so we can have this and we'll extend the the light yeah it's a nice addition also that's why we bought it and this one is decibel meter okay let's see what we have here ah this is the brother of the the meter that we just saw I believe I will need the keys again and also some batteries. Okay, oh uh, yeah. Mm. Ah, okay, it has also certification, certification, the calibration certificate, digital sound level meter. Yeah, and some instructions, simple ones, I don't believe this is hard to manage. Also, just give me a moment to get some more batteries. I believe it's the same kind of battery. So, let's open it. Okay. Okay. We have batteries. Let's see if we can check this out. Yeah, same interface. Very similar to the lightning meter. We have it here. <laughs> yeah, very similar. Test. Test. It says decibels and sound. Well, decibels, it's what it matters to us. Also, with a, a graph here, it starts measuring at 30 decibels and it can go until 130 or 130. Uh, it has the fast and slow updates. You can change if it wants if you want to update the the indicator fast or slow. If you turn it slow, it kind of updates slower. Maybe better to to see the values. And you have the hold button also. We can have rec. Uh, I was trying to see if we have some connector to export, but no. And we have run, run. Uh, okay. Run will change the maximum uh, scale. It goes to 80, 90 decibels. 100, 110, and 120. It will change the the scale, the maximum value of the scale. Yeah, quite simple. It does the job. It will help us measuring the sound here in the the reviews that we do. 
for example, one review that is pending, it's the oscilloscope. It has a ventilator always on. It will be good to know what uh, what is the decibels that it produces. And yeah, that's it. What we have for, for today. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget, subscribe the channel, help us grow. And you may hit the bell icon to be notified every time we have no new content. If you like the video, just press like. If you didn't like the video, press unlike. But your opinion, as always, is the important one. Leave comments for improvement on the comment section and participate on the community. So thank you for watching and hope to see you soon. Cheers.